Hey guys, welcome to the new video of AG Framework. Today we are going to install Barandai Store Present Barandai Hood. So first of all, you need to visit their website. I'll provide the link in description. After reaching to the website, you need to log in with your CFX ID. Here you can see. Then after that, click on 5M section, then scripts. Here you can find the simple clean hood presented by Barandai Scripts. Then click on it. Here you can see some features. It has more features than it shows. So I'll show you everything in detail review with this. So first of all, click on add to cart option. Then please log in with your Discord ID. Then continue. After that here, you can see the order value. Then proceed to checkout. Also, Barandai Scripts preferences are some special discount code. So you will get the discount code from my Discord. You will have to join my Discord. I will provide the link in description. Join my Discord. I will provide the code for this. Then proceed to checkout. Then continue your payment. After continuing your payment, you will receive your key on your Keymaster ID. Here you can see. Then click on download and save it to your computer. Then extract here. Here you can see the file. Just copy and paste it to your main server directory. Then open this file here. You can see the config.lua. First of all, open and go through the readme section. Here you can see the special supports for framework. You can see ESX, QB, yeah, QBox, and also all the exports for client server sites. As you can see, tower links, also the hood initialization, and with the triggers. Also here you can see the stress gun systems, drink system, alcohol system, so hood system, hydro system, every triggers are there with the hunger trust values here. You can find the command bindings. You can change it easily with the cinematic mode. Also after that, it's also support the aux field. Also make sure aux and CDN fields are supported. If you are using any other file or any other script, you can also change it. Also the weapon detection based on OX inventory. If you want to use any other inventory, you can directly change it from their configurations. After all this, just close the file, then open the config.lua. Here you can find the debug section, hood update interval, player info updates interval. Clock time weapons, you can easily directly off that and make a default section for your players. Also, also you can directly change the velocity. Just like I am changing it to kilometer to miles, you can directly change it. Also the color grading, you want any type of specific theme for your color server, you can easily change it through it with the radar full time. Postal maps also, you can disable the bell system for a separate section. Also, same goes for cinematic mode. F2 to trigger this. You can also disable this. Also the hood menu popped up with typing and also pressing the I button. Also police jobs are there. You can enable the stress or disable it. Disable stress for police if you want, you can do it. I'll just make it false. Also the drunk threats are there. Make sure to notice that it's for QB core only if you are using the ESX, then make it false. Then that's it. Nothing else you need to configure. It already configured with the default configuration for your framework. Then close this file, open the framework setting. If you are using any type of default frameworks, you can directly go through it. Also, the standalone section provides us the player load system. And that's it. Just copy the file and paste it to your server, main directly and run your server and we'll see the script in game. Here you can see I am in game. So for showing the HUD, you need to press a button. Then you can see I can enable or disable anything from the hood component visibility. That's the section you can directly use this to hide your icons of the hood. Whenever you want, they will pop up after that a HUD information visibility. Here you can see I can enable or disable anything that I wanna make the HUD more cleaner. And here you can see the after that, I can use drag mode to move any component here and there. And also as I am doing this speedometer, I can mirror this also at any type, any area. So also I can move the mini map when I am doing the mirror section. And with that, I can save it for everything. After that, you can see I can scale the HUD icons and status of vehicle for more better visibility. And you can also use the always on radar system to keep your map always on. And here you can see global color theme, you can set any color of your hood and save it for everything. And here you can see the individual color content is totally different. You can set any individual color for separate actions. As you can see, I selected the health bar for dark red theme. Here you can see it's saved and working properly. 
And with this script, you can see my speedometer is looking just like same with the sample and cleanest HUD. And with that, you can see the seatbelt is properly working and icon are showing properly. Also, the hazard light and everything is working without any issue. After that, I will open my radio and here you can see the radio is also showed up there. If you are any frequency, your radio would be shown up top of HUD. And here you can see on the cinematic mode and it's alternately hide hood and map component easily with seamless experience. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in next video. Make sure to like and subscribe our channel and visit their TBEX official website for the purchase.